Hi guys, today we are going to be playing with the Creepy Cute palette again and I'm so excited because my first impression with this went so well so I'm going to be doing my first look out of three looks with this palette and the inspiration for today's look, believe it or not, I was browsing on Fashion Nova earlier today and I saw a picture of this camo jacket, I will put it up right here and it literally looked like the color scheme in this palette. So I want to kind of recreate something that's similar to what's in that photo, still kind of keeping it to like the camo print theme if I'm able to do that, but we're just gonna jump straight into it and I'm gonna start with priming my eyes. I'm not really sure how this is going to turn out, but I'm gonna use my MAC Paint Pot as always. So from looking at the picture, I think I'll be using these three shades right here, uh, which is just a black, the blue, and then third eye, which is like a peachy orangey kind of shade. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my little Morphe M149 brush and I'm going to start just making little circles on my lid in different colors kind of randomly just to, you know, try to cover up as much of the lid as I can and I'll probably just let you guys watch this because I don't think it's going to be like a tutorial because I don't really know how to do this myself so I'm just going to kind of play and you guys can watch and hopefully it'll come out okay, who knows? So I'm going to start off I think by taking the black because I kind of want the black to be like the bottom color so I'm going to start by just making little dots black shadow in different places on my lid and then I'm going to just build up on that with the other shadows afterwards and just do that all the way until my whole eyelid is covered That feeling when your lipstick absolutely does not match your eye look anymore, but I think this is looking kind of cool. I mean, it's going to get kind of messy, messy because the colors are going to blend into each other because I just packed them on. I didn't like blend or anything, but I think that's going to be kind of like the cool thing about this look is that it's going to get kind of like smeared up and like look kind of cool. So I think I'm going to just do a white liner in my waterline. I don't think I want to do any shadows down there. Oh no, I'm running out of my white NYX liner. That is so sad. Um, let me use my ColourPop liner in Honey Dude instead. This is just a very nude eyeliner. I don't know what in the world I was thinking when I put on this lipstick because I should have looked at the colors before I did so. So I'm gonna take my lipstick off and put on something else. So instead I'm going to put on this MAC Oh Sweetie Gloss. This is in the shade banana muffins and these smell so good. So this is basically an orange metallic lipstick even though it says gloss but it's really not a gloss. I'm also going to go just finish up the rest of my eyes real quick. I'm just going to do a small wing liner and some mascara and then I'll be right back. And for my inner corner I'm going to use pink opal in my Calendy Alchemist palette. And I know this is definitely more of like an avant-garde look. Uh, it's not really like a wearable look if you will but it was super easy to do and it's it was so much fun and I know it's not going to be everyone's cup of tea and that's okay but I kind of like, you know, just trying different things and taking inspiration from other places that might not be like makeup related. I think that's really cool so I'm gonna spray this a little bit too. And I should probably put on a little bit of mascara on my lower lash line, I totally forgot to do that. So here is look number one, and honestly, it is probably the quickest look that I've ever filmed on YouTube. I've been filming now for 25 minutes, and that's like including doing my mascara, my liner, and everything. And so I think that was pretty quick. So let me know if you want to see more looks kind of like this, where I just kind of like slap stuff on without doing like a proper like makeup tutorial. Uh, if you don't like it, that's totally fine too. Uh, if you just like watching me, then I appreciate you. And I will make sure to do something a little more wearable in look number two. 
It's funny how sometimes I sit down and I plan on only filming like one video and then I get so inspired that I just want to keep filming so I'm back and it's the same day it is about 10 minutes later and we're gonna do look number two unless my eyes won't stop watering but hopefully they will so I don't have any inspiration for what I want to do with this look but there are a couple of shades in here that I haven't tried yet that I want to try and so I think I'm going to do a very, very simple look. And I promise it's going to be simple when I say simple. I'm only going to be using these two shades right here. And I'm going to put one on my lid and one on my lower lash line. And we're going to keep it very, very simple. And I think the one that I want on my lid is going to be Creep It Real, which is the light turquoise kind of shade. And I am taking this on a flat packing brush. I have not set my base. And I'm just going to go in and just pack this all over my lid. Oh, I think I just said I was going to do the other shade on my lid. Oops. I guess we're doing this one. So this is going to be a very soft look, which is not really something that I do very often, but I feel like I just want to do that with this palette. And sometimes you just want to keep it simple. And this is literally something you can do with like any two colors that you want to do it with. I'm not going to wing out this eyeshadow or anything, I'm just placing it down, just making sure that it goes above my crease, and I'm not going to be blending it too much because I don't want the shadow to blend away. Because even though I didn't set my primer, I still know that these kind of shadows just need to be packed on. So this is going to be it for the upper part of my eyelid, and I'm going to go in with a little bit of primer on my lower lash line. And now going in with that same Morphe brush that I used in my first look, I'm going to just stamp this onto my lower lash line. This is the Creep It Real shade. And I'm not going to go in and blend any of these colors because I want them to stay as vibrant as they are right now. And I think maybe in my inner corner I'm going to try to put strawberry milk and just see how that goes. Now I don't have any primer in my inner corner so I don't know. Oh. It actually does show up really well. Oh, that is so pretty. I love the shade. Oh. So I'm kind of feeling like I want to bring this shade up a little bit higher. So I'm going to take this on my Morphe M506 brush instead and I'm going to just kind of run it up towards my eyebrow. of that purple shade and just oh god my eye is watering do you see this mm, that's my annoying so I'm gonna wait for this to dry a little bit and then I'm going to fix it and I'm going to finish up the rest of my eyes and then I'll come back and we can put on some lipstick I'm not sure why but I just have this strong urge to go in with my NYX liner and do little tiny white dots in here in my inner corner so I'm just gonna try that because I don't know, sometimes you just like get an idea in your head and then you just kind of have to go through with it because otherwise you're just going to be sitting there wondering like what if I did it? Like that could have been so cool. So I'm just going to try it and see what happens. So I actually think this looks kind of cool as like an inner corner highlight instead of having like a shimmery shade. So I think this is good. Uh, it's not perfect, but it's not supposed to be perfect. So I'm not going to do anything else. I don't think I want to do any mascara on my lower lash line. I think it looks kind of cool the way it is. So I'm going to go find a lipstick and then I think we are done with this look. So I think this one is perfect by Jeffree Star. It's in the shade Blow Pony. <laughs> what is that name? So we're going to plop this baby on. So here is the finished look. Obviously you don't have to do the little dots if you don't want to and it will make this look much more muted and not so in your face. So I hope you like it. I'm going to run to the store now because I'm all out of fruit and I need fruit for my yogurt bowl in the morning. So I'm going to run to the store. I hope you all have a great night. I will see you shortly for look number three. So what I want to do today is I want to do like three colors in my crease and then I want to cut my lid into like a half circle 
And then I want to put those three colors in the opposite direction on my lid. I don't know if that makes any sense, but that's what I'm going to try to do. So the colors that I want to use are these three, so the pink, purple, and the gray. So I'm going to start off by putting the pink color called Strawberry Milk in the inside of my crease. But first I should probably prime my eyes because that will definitely help these shadows. And I want to just point out one thing with this uh, palette. I know I was watching Polina the other day and she was saying something about people complaining about the mirror in this palette and she didn't understand how you can have like a bad mirror. Well, let me tell you, do you know when you go to those like fun houses and you look in the mirror and you look like you're like super big or like you're all like wavy and shit? That's kind of how this mirror makes me look like. This is not a good mirror because it kind of like, depending on the angle that you look in it, like it makes you look different. So that's like one complaint that I have with this palette and it's probably honestly the only one because everything else about it is great, but it's not a good mirror. I'm going in with Strawberry Milk now using my Morphe M321 brush. And I'm just gonna start by stamping this onto my inner third of my eye and up into my crease. Like so, and then I'm gonna dip into Planchette, which is the pastel purple. And I'm gonna focus this in the middle of my eye. And I'm just tapping over where the pink shade is to blend them together a little bit. And lastly, I'm going to take this gray and I'm going to stamp this onto my outer third of my eye. And I'm not going to like wing this out or anything, I'm gonna keep the shape pretty round. But I am bringing it in just a little bit, even though I am going to cut my crease. Now I'm going to start just blending out these two colors. Now that I don't have a lot of products on the brush. So the crease is all done. I'm now going to go in with a concealer and cut my crease. And I think I'm actually going to use my P. Louise base for this, just to get some more use out of it. I don't like it as much for like an eye primer, but for cutting the crease, it's pretty good. So I'm first starting off by just putting a little dot in the middle of my eye and then looking up. This is very helpful if you have hooded eyes because it will show you how high up to cut the crease. And now that I have that little line, I'm going to work on just making a circle. And the way I do it, I don't drag my brush, I literally stamp it down and then I drag a little bit downwards. But because I have like kind of wrinkly and hooded eyes, I have a lot of creases and folds on my eyelid and if I try to drag it like it just won't work so this is definitely the best way for me to do a cut crease and I'm also making this into like a full circle so I'm going all the way down to my lash line here and I'm gonna make this circle pretty big and I'm using the edge of my brush to really make like a crisp line and I'm just patting this to even out the coverage a little bit. And now that my half circle is cut, I'm going to go in with the same colors that I have in my crease, just the opposite direction on the lid. So I'm starting off by taking strawberry milk on the outside here. And actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I don't think I'm going to go in with the purple because then it's going to clash up here, so I'm going to only do the pink and the grey. So like this. And then I'm going to go into the grey shade and I'm going to do the same thing. Just in the inner part of my eye. to the middle I just gently tap to kind of go over the two colors but I don't want to drag this gray shade in too far. So it's gonna look a little something like this. I'm gonna go try to do the same thing on the other eye and then I will figure out what to do on the lower lash line and see if maybe I want to pull in like a little bit of glitter or something here but we'll see. So I'm gonna first do the same on this eye. So looking at these close up now, I'm seeing that the line is not as defined up here as it is on this side. Uh, maybe I wasn't as precise or I don't know really what happened there, but I'm going to go in with the Steely Glitter and Glow. This is in the shade Beauty Junkie. And I'm going to try to just trace this line between where I cut my crease and where the shadows on my lid are. 
And this is just a kind of pinky, orangey glitter, so it won't really show up too much, but it'll have enough of an effect that it'll cover up like whatever mistakes I did on that line. So, so I'm taking this on a very, very small eyeliner brush, and I'm just going to trace this line right here. So well, that took way longer than expected, but I'm gonna finish up now on my lower lash line and I'm gonna go in with the same colors that I have on my lip, just in the opposite direction. So I'm gonna keep with the gray here and then just go with the pink. I think I'm going to skip the purple. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of my P. Louise base on my bottom since I have it on my hand already. And I'm gonna start off with the pink shade and I'm gonna put that on the inner half of my eye. And I'm taking the gray. Just doing the same thing. In my waterline, I'm going to use Crybaby by ColourPop, and this is just a pastel purple. And I'm going to go put on a little bit of liner and mascara. So here is the final look in this creepy cute series. Let me know down below which one was your favorite. I don't think I can pick one this time. I don't know. I like them all for different reasons because they were all so different, and I feel like I tried kind of different techniques. Um, I do like this one, even though I'm not super happy with how that line in my crease came out. It's not perfect, but that's okay. Um, so my final thoughts on this palette, I'm sorry if it seems like I'm in kind of a hurry, but my camera is dying, so I need to finish this. But my final conclu conclusions on this palette is that I really, really like it. I think the quality is amazing. I really love the packaging on it. Uh, the color story is so unique. And just the way that the pigmentation is in these colors compared to other brands that I've tried in pastels, these are just in a class of their own, and I just think they're amazing. I think this palette is worth the money. If you've been thinking about getting this palette, I would absolutely get it, because it is incredible. Let me know which palette you want to see me do this with next. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, I hope you would consider subscribing, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!